So it looks like we're in for another really clear night tonight, which is uh, great considering we had really bad skies at the back end of 2020. So tonight I'm really looking forward to imaging the Pinwheel Galaxy M101. I've just had a quick look back through my history of photos and I can see I shot it in 2018, but in 2018 I was running a DSLR, my 5D Mark III, and a Sigma 150 600 lens. So I'm looking forward to reshooting this with my Spree 100 at 550mm and my ASI 2600 MC Pro Cool camera. So I'm just going to set up and we'll see what the night brings. So I've got the Spree loaded up. Um, I thought I'd just spend two, three minutes going through the kit because I've had quite a few people asking me what I run and what are all those bits that they can see in some of my previous videos. So I'll start by going off through this. What's this? This is simply a handle I've made on a ADM clamp. And this just goes on the Losmandy plate and I've bolted in a small handle and it just helps me carry the telescope out. So uh, the last thing you want to be doing is dropping this and they are quite heavy to handle and can be quite difficult to get into position. So I found this really helps. The other thing we've got on here is, this is my Intel Nook. So this is just a Windows 10 PC. So I used to use a laptop outside. I moved over to using a Nook. What's great about this is I can leave this on the Losmandy plate at the top here and I just connect to it remotely from inside the house. Next, we've got the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box, which I've done a review about. I'll put a link up there. This connects all my power to all my equipment, such as my focuser, the nook itself, the mount. And the great thing about this is I've only got one cable that actually leaves the mount and goes down to what is called ground. So the less cables that are going down, the less chance of things getting snagged in the night. Over here at the front, we've got a, another Losmandy type of plate. This is actually for my StarSense camera. Being ultra lazy and having a CGX, I bought the StarSense camera which auto aligns and it just does that by plate solving. Um, I, I could do it myself, but I, I've literally just got into my workflow now where I just get the StarSense going. It takes about two minutes. It's quite fun to watch it with around the sky shooting four or five points. Around the back we've got the focuser. So this is the Sister Senso 2 robotic focuser, really great. Got absolutely zero backlash that I can measure in it and it gives me pinpoint focusing throughout the night. So really pleased with that as a purchase. Then we've got the ASI 2600 MC Pro Cool camera. This is connected to a ZWO filter drawer and then you've got the Esprit 100 field flattener at the back of the draw tube. You'll notice these orange cables. These are Lynx Astro uh, shielded cables. And the reason I like these is, unlike your traditional, I'll say rubber molded cables, these things just drop. They don't, they don't start curling up. They just naturally fall flat. So it makes it really nice when the telescope's slewing that you can, you can predict where they're going to go. And then finally, I'll go get my guide scope. So I've got my guide scope, this is an Orion 60mm guide scope with an ASI 290 mini camera in the bottom. And I've mounted this again onto AMD Losmandy clamps. What that lets me do is where the handle was, I can literally slide that on and lock it in position with the thumb wheels and it's absolutely solid as a rock. And then just plug the camera in with the USB-C connector. A couple of last things. We've got a Lynx Astro dew strap. So this is controlled by the Pegasus Astro power box. This gets warm as the temperature starts to drop and the dew point starts to be reached. And then over here, this little metal silver thing is the thermometer. Is it a thermometer? The thermostat, the temperature probe. It's one of those, it's a temperature probe that connects to the focuser. So this will report back the temperature to the focuser, which I can then use an SGP to determine whether I need to refocus or not. So that's it for the quick equipment rundown. Um, hopefully the skies will start to get dark soon and I can polar align. So fingers crossed, 
We'll be for a good imaging session tonight. One eternity later. So it's just after 12 o'clock. Give you a quick update. I've got myself polar aligned and star aligned earlier in the evening. I've got PhD2 calibrated, all really nice. And the first set of subs are coming in for M101 and I'm completely blown away with the amount of data that I'm seeing on my 10 minute exposures. Um, it's the, probably the largest galaxy I've imaged so far since I've had my 2600 which is only earlier on in this year than I bought it earlier in, I think it was January 2021. And uh, I've, I've never seen anything like it from any of my previous attempts on any galaxies. Um, and that is including Andromeda on my 071 MC. So I can't wait to see what these, these come out like when I process them later. I'm hoping to get about 30 exposures tonight, 10 minutes each. Um, so that'll probably take me up to probably 4 a.m. Um, so fingers crossed, the clouds keep away and forecast looks good and I'll give you an update shortly. So it's just after 1.30, um, Meridian Flips just occurred and it was the first for me actually. Um, I normally do it manually, but since I've moved over to SGP, which I've used uh, for the last couple of weeks, I, I, I purchased it probably 18 months ago, but never got actually got around to using it. And I decided uh, for this galaxy season, I'll, I'll start using it and see how I get on with it. And so far, I'm quietly impressed with uh, some of the features that I've been using. Um, and so I thought I'll let it do an automatic Meridian flip. Um, I did actually still go outside and watch it. Um, I not, don't have the confidence to, to be a sleeping astronomer of where people will set things going and go to sleep and wake up. I'm a bit away from that yet. So um, I went outside and babysat it just to make sure everything was okay. And it worked surprisingly well. So really happy with that. Um, so we'll carry on imaging into the night and see what we get. So we're fast approaching four o'clock and other than some focusing issues I had early on in the night, um, nothing that SGP didn't sort out, it's just I probably lost about 20 minutes in time. It basically failed to uh, refocus during the session and I've been messing around with the settings prior to, to tonight and I'd set my refocus to be every two degrees of temperature change and also every 40 minutes. Um, for some reason, um, the, the refocus failed on the 40 minute marker, but he just re-attempted it and, and it was fine. So I'm not too worried about that. I'll keep an eye on it if it happens in future sessions though. So have got 28 subs in total. Um, really looking forward to seeing what this comes out like, but it's looking clear for tomorrow night as well. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually gonna try and take some narrow band data with my L Optolong Extreme Pro filter and see what that can give me. Effectively, I'll be creating a HARGB image at the end of it. So uh, really excited to see what that turns out like. So thanks for watching this first part of the video and we'll see what part two gives us.
joking me. So with galaxy season in full swing, tonight I'm going to try and image the So just a quick update, I've got myself star aligned, I've got myself polar aligned, I've got PhD to PhD. So quick update, I've 